Um, at the heart of the mission of the Aspen Institute is the exchange of ideas. One of the most notable ways we do that is at the Aspen Ideas Festival every summer out in Aspen, Colorado. At the kickoff of it, people come up on stage and share their big idea for the future. So we're doing a mini version of that here. Uh, five big ideas for the artisan sector. All right, so these brave souls are gonna share their big idea with you. These might be tweetable too, so get ready. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Nurilia Barakanova. I am from Kyrgyz Republic, Central Asia. And my big idea is to establish business incubator with educational component, uh, with access to financial resources. I'm Genevieve taft Vasquez with the Coca-Cola Company. Many of you may know my colleague, Jackie Duff, who's usually here. Um, but as many big companies, we also have a multitude of 2020 goals. We don't seem to notice that 2020 is like next Thursday. But one of those goals is to empower 5 million women by 2020 in our value chain. And that might be women farmers growing agricultural ingredients to women-owned uh, distributors and retailers to our artisan program. And our artisan program uh, uses parts of our uh, products into it might be the recycled glass or things like that. Uh, my day job is to ensure human rights, we as a company respect human rights and environmental compliance in our supply chain. That's like a nice way of saying what Simone talked about, exploitation in the supply chain, avoiding that. Uh, so my touch point with the program is really how do we help our artisan programs professionalize and create a, a model whereby they are creating safe, healthy working conditions that are responsible working conditions as well. Um, and, and that's something that I'm mostly focused on. Um, so I know we talked about uh, whether artisan programs might not think of themselves as business or they might not, uh, or they see themselves as more of a philanthropy uh, prospect. I'm interested in artisan groups as my business partners and I wanna see you grow your program to be a professional um, program that can demonstrate to me as a s relatively small buyer, but to other much larger buyers that you are um, doing so in a responsible way and, and be able to validate and show that to your other potential customers. Uh, hi everybody, hello, I'm Samuel Fakir, founder of uh, Martizana. We highlight uh, Moroccan artisans and, uh, and tell their stories. And uh, well, when meeting artisans, we, we figure out that uh, the facility, facilities where they work uh, are not uh, compliant with the minimum standards of, of security and safety and all. And we just dream about a big co-working space where we can have many artisans uh, and where designers can, can come and visit them and tourists also can come and, and, uh, and interact with these artisans. Um, when I came to speak to Peggy last year, I had this idea for about a platform because I thought everybody, all of us make beautiful things um, and there's so many artisans that want to sell their products, but people don't seem to know how to find them. So I thought, what if we had some kind of regional platforms and the example that I actually liked was the what Simone is doing at the Ethical Fashion Initiative um, and bringing regional artisan groups together. If we could do something like that, it would be so amazing because then someone like Genevieve who said, if I want to support artisan businesses, how do I do that? So how do we help the buyers and the makers come together in a platform that benefits each other? Hi. My name is Nina Weisberg. I'm with the Weisberg Foundation. We're one of the funders of the Artisan Alliance, and I'm very honored to be part of this group. Um, as a foundation, uh, we're involved in empowering women and girls, and supporting artisans fits right into that agenda. My big idea for today, and there's lots of them, and so many have come out of listening to all of the people who talked, is about language. So. When we talk about artisans, and one of the reporters who was speaking earlier, forgive me for not remembering names, said, this space is filled with images of 
women in war strife, poor economies, with children who've lost husbands. And that's our image. We don't think of innovators. We don't think of entrepreneurs. We don't think of people who are market disruptors. Even when we talked about the person who brought that cook stove out and gave it to the artisans who quickly made it into a product that was so much better, he didn't use the language of market disruptor or innovator or entrepreneur. So I don't want to change the word artisan, but I want us to think carefully about the language that we use and the images that come to our mind. And as someone, a lot of people have said today, let's make sure we keep this very broad and very complex and very inclusive. Let's just do one last round of applause for the five big ideas. Peggy's gonna close us out.